Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom. We own all of our cars here. We are not a consignment dealership, so when you are dealing with the seller, you're dealing directly with us. If you're watching this presentation on YouTube or any other advertising vehicle other than Hankster's.com, please be sure to go to our website. Make sure this is a current piece of inventory. Um, we, you, we leave all of our YouTube videos up on YouTube and other advertising vehicles that we may use may leave our stuff up for a week or two weeks or three weeks. So Hankster's.com is always your best source to get our most current inventory. We offer financing on all of our cars too. Uh, these collector car lenders will do up to 10 years on certain vehicles, certain costs with approved credit of course. 10% down, the remaining balance over five years, seven years, 10 years. Again, it depends on the cost of the vehicle, debt to income ratio, credit score, things of that nature. But they will go up to 10 years to make it nice and affordable for you. And what's great about these things is they are either appreciating or holding their value. So you don't take the depreciation hit that you do on a new car. Something that's getting very popular, coming up in popularity, well they've always been popular, but they seem to be coming up strong here in the collector car world is the uh, K Blazers, uh, full-size pickup trucks, full-size Broncos. Today we have this 1985 GMC Sierra. Really nice truck. The thing about this truck that's great is it's solid. It is a Florida truck. The paint on the truck is not anywhere close to perfect, but there are no areas of concern. And, and what I mean by that is there's no bubbles, there's no cracks, there's no blisters. Uh, you do have, you know, some areas where it looks like maybe some water spotting or whatever, some etch marks. So the paint is, again, not perfect at all, but very, very nice driver quality paint job. It's nothing you need to run out and get a paint job on. Nothing where there's rust bubbles coming through or the paint's cracking or faded in any areas. Opening up, looking in the inside of the truck. This truck's mostly original. So for the age of the truck, you can tell that it was very well taken care of. The dashboard, steering wheel, seats, carpet, everything is in very, very good condition. Again, this truck spent its life in Florida, so it wasn't up in the northern regions in the elements. You can see on the inside some, you know, a little deterioration on door panels around the uh, door locks here. This thing's fully loaded. <laughs> uh, power steering, power door locks power windows, air conditioning, so a nice truck but a nice look and all the creature comforts we're used to today. Uh, we put the brand new bumper on the back of it, it did have one of those big steel bumpers that looked kind of tacky so we went ahead and we put a chrome step bumper on it. Shooting up into the bed, it's in good shape, it's got the black, it's not a rhino line, it's like a, a black coating that it has on it, really good condition. Tailgate opens and closes, no problem. This isn't a restoration show truck. This is a just a very nice, high quality, solid 85 pickup truck. Very desirable truck. Door fitment down both sides, body panels, all in re really, really good shape. Got your full size Michelin tires on there. Dual chrome mirrors that fold in. Not the uh, fancy F-250s you see nowadays or high country Chevrolet pickups. You actually have to stick your arm out the window and clap those babies in. Blue interior, four-wheel drive on the floor. We'll take it for a test drive in a couple minutes, show you guys what works, what doesn't work, how the truck runs out. Got your High Sierra logo on either side. Don't see these much anymore, huh? Put ornaments. It's there. This one has an inside hood pop. That works as you can see. Three fifty engine again. Air conditioning, power steering, power brakes. Looks good. Firewall is nice and solid is the original grill on the truck so you can see in the front here in the black it's got some you know paint missing off of it right there just from age and around the headlights chrome on the front bumper overall on a scale of nine to ten is probably an eight 
there is some signs of age in there, but again, the, the chrome's not peeling off, flaking off, anything like that. Really, really good looking. We had an 84 in here that was a Chevrolet that uh, was black, and, and that sold in about three days. So, and I expect this truck to do the same. We're gonna take it out on the lift. This thing's immaculate, amazing looking underneath. We're gonna check that out, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it on a drive. Underneath our 1985 GMC Sierra pickup truck, this thing's healthy underneath. Uh, disc brakes in the front. At this time, the oil pan's nice and dry. Tranny pan's nice and dry. Now when I say at this time, this means that when you're dealing in a collector car, a classic car, these things do have a tendency to start leaks. This is not your 2020 Lexus. It's going to happen, so don't be surprised if it does. But, um, you know, if they get driven pretty consistently and get maintained consistently, you usually don't have a problem. The problems usually start occurring when they sit for extended periods of time. So depending on where this truck goes, just keep that in mind. Cross member on the truck is in great shape. So are the frame rails. This truck does have dual tanks and they do work. Again, for now, a lot of the Broncos we get in and the full-size Blazers and the, uh, the full-size pickup trucks have dual tanks. A lot of times they work, sometimes they don't, but this, these are working right now. Uh, dual pipes going back to dual mufflers. And they will come out the rear there. Drum brakes in the rear of the truck. The whole undercarriage of truck, like I said, it's it's a nice uh, survivor, well-maintained classic truck. It really is. Let's see what the rear end. Yeah, the rear end looks dry too. You guys can probably see that. Uh, rear frame on the truck's in excellent shape. Same with the bed. I told you earlier in the video the bumper's brand new. Exhaust pipes are all in good shape. Yeah, this one won't last. This is a really good looking truck. So go to hangsters.com, check this truck out. Don't take my word for it, come on down. Check out our showroom, we're in Daytona Beach. We're five miles from the Speedway, five miles from the beach. There's a lot to do here. Take a look at this thing underneath on the rack for yourself. Drive it, look at it out in the sunshine, look at the paint quality. We'd be more than happy to have you down. We got a gift shop to take home some uh, merchandise, some memorabilia from your visit to Daytona Beach and your visit to Hangsters Hot Rods. So. We're gonna take this thing out on a drive right now and show you guys how it runs out. Inside our 85 GMC Sierra here. So we got power windows that function, both on my side and on Devin's side. Power door locks, you can hear them. Tilt wheel. Uh, wipers. Be faster when the windshield's not dry as hell. Radio works. Make your sleep dreams Got a Kenwood in there. Horn works. The gauge isn't up. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but the AC's blowing ice cold, which is a great thing. Um, we need to look into the gauges in the dash. They will all be working with the exception of the clock. Right now, oil pressure's pegged. Uh, temperatures pegged and battery is non-existent and we're running obviously the fuel gauge does work as I stated earlier in the video I'm gonna take it on a drive and see how it runs here these full-size Chevy pickups and Chevy blazers ride absolutely amazing the speedometer is functioning A great truck. Seats nice and firm like it's been redone. The thing drives fantastic. There's no noise in the cab. Oh, we got a wind noise. So we had this on the 84 as well. Let me see if the window shut. So what we got to do is we got to put new vent seals here so we will do that as well 
We had the same thing on the 84 when you picked up speed, it whistled like that. So we'll get that taken care of. It's a $50 set of seals and about an hour to put them in both sides. But the wheel on the truck's nice and straight. There's no vibrations in the drive line and the tires and the steering wheel. Brakes are like here. Brakes are good. Beautiful running truck. So we're going to test out four wheel drive here. We're in too high now. There's four high. Four low works too, but I'm going to pop it back in two. Station in the brakes. Really outstanding running truck. We've been running for about 15 minutes now and perfect. Just so you do know, the speedometer is reading probably 10 miles an hour fast. We're in a 45. We're doing 45 to 50 and it's reading 55. Another thing, I don't think I showed it earlier, the turn signals do work. We're not turning, we're driving straight, but I'm going to show you. Left turn indicator. Right turn indicator. They both work inside and outside the truck. Mechanically, the truck's great. I mean, plenty of pickup on the 350 motor. Brakes work excellent. Again, no vibrations in the drivetrain at all. We'll show you the four-wheel drive when we get back. That functions as well. Great truck. Another one that will not last long. These high-quality, solid southern trucks, they just, they sell. Especially this color, you know, the blues, the blacks. It's not an odd off-the-wall color. It's a desirable color. So 386-944-9219 is our contact phone. Please call us on the truck. Like I said, I don't think it'll be around very long. Uh, Hankster's.com is our website. You can make an offer on the truck. There's a make offer tab. We do offer financing, like I said earlier. You can text us on the truck or you can send us an email. Whichever form of contact you prefer, we'll get back to you just as soon as we possibly can.